I'm Pat Doris. We're starting our story tonight in southeast Portland. We're out here because it's arguably on the front line of the epidemic of Portland's gun violence. There's thousands of people who live in this area. They have families and hopes and dreams of the future and also fears of the almost nightly gun violence. Take a look at this neighborhood map put out by Portland police. It shows reported shootings. You're looking at the Powellhurst Gilbert neighborhood where 96 shootings were reported from January of 2021 to January of 22. The Lentz neighborhood had 83 shootings during that same time period. Together, just these two southeast neighborhoods endured 179 different shootings over the course of one year. Can you imagine what it would be like to live here? I'm Stacy. I am a single mom. I'm frozen in fear and paralyzed. That's part of a voicemail that came into our office on Tuesday. It was so chilling. I really wanted to try to find the caller. Say bye-bye. Bye, Ryan. Thank you. See you next week. This is the caller. Her name is Stacy. She lives in southeast Portland near all the gunfire with her two-and-a-half-year-old, Wyatt. I asked if she hears gunshots every night. I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know if I'm hearing fireworks or gunfire because it's every night and it just seems like it can't be gunfire every night. She's one of many parents in this part of town fighting the fear that the next bullet could find them. For Stacy, the danger feels very real. I don't know what to do anymore. I've started making lists of, you know, just in a case of an emergency, this is his favorite food. When he says he wants a pizza, he really just means olives. You know, things like that that I know that no one else is going to know about him. She's angry that city leadership does not seem interested in doing more to help. It makes me feel like I'm just going to be a number. I'm just going to be like a headlight for a minute and no one's going to remember. Part of Stacy's fear and the fear of many here comes from the latest shooting at 129th and Southeast Foster. It happened Sunday night, February 20th. A spray of bullets hit a family of four inside their car. The 25-year-old mom died. Her fiancé and two children were hospitalized with bullet wounds. Oh, I think it was horrible and, and unnecessary. Kathy Grant lives just a block away from that shooting. She's been in southeast Portland nearly 30 years. Every night they're talking about shootings. It's never been this bad. Just out of the ordinary, but ordinary for us out here now. It's just been like this every night, shootings, you hear gunfire. Every night, you really do? Honestly, you do, yeah. She feels abandoned by city leaders, who she accuses of doing nothing to stop the gunfire or the homeless problems out here. It's all lip service. They like to talk good talk, but when it comes to walking the walk, nothing ever happens. And you've always got one or two in the little group that don't go along with the program, and then nothing happens. I wanted to bring you that story because it's one thing to talk about gunfire in Southeast Portland while standing in a safe TV studio or sitting in our homes in quiet neighborhoods. But it is different to actually go there and meet the people living on the front lines of Portland's violence. There's a reality in the Southeast that I think many of us do not feel. Many people who are there have lived there a long time and they loved it when things were different. Kathy, that second woman in our story, remembers a time when the neighborhood was more rural and safe. Now she has people brazenly stealing mail from the mailbox right in front of her home and swearing at her first thing in the morning. And Stacy, that single mom, she's terrified to go shopping at the nearby grocery stores because people have been shot at both places. Now she pays from her meager income to have groceries delivered because it feels safer. Can you imagine that constant pressure, the ongoing drumbeat of violence, what it would feel like over weeks and months? Now I know. It's not like they're living on the front lines of Ukraine. But I think that the thousands of people who live in Southeast Portland have a right to feel as safe as someone living in Beaverton or Vancouver or Hood River. And tonight, they don't. And by the way, this is pointed at the politicians, not the police. Voters have sent a very clear warning to politicians. They are fed up with violence and the problems that come with homelessness. They're also furious with the ratio of talk versus action that comes from City Hall. Perhaps our leaders should spend more time with the people on our city's front lines to begin to feel the urgency that the problems there demand. What do you think? Do you agree? 
Maybe I'm being too harsh towards city leaders. Let me know. You can weigh in and share your thoughts. We read every email you send us, listen to every voicemail. The email address is thestory at kgw.com. The phone number is 503-226-5090.